do you think there will be a time like a civil rights movement for robots where, um, okay, forget the movement, but a discussion uh, like the Supreme Court that particular kinds of robots, you know, particular kinds of systems um, deserve the same rights as humans because they can suffer just as humans can, uh, all those kinds of things. Well, perhaps, perhaps not. Like imagine that humans were, that, that you could, uh, you know, die and be restored. Like, you know, you could be <laughs> sort of, you know, be 3D reprinted and, you know, your brain could be re reconstructed in its finest details. Our ideas of rights will change in that case. If you can always just, <laughs> there's always a backup you could always restore. Yeah. Maybe like the, the importance of murder will go down one notch. <laughs> That's right. But also the, uh, your, your, you know, desire to do dangerous things like, you know, <laughs> you know, doing skydiving or, or, you know, uh, or, 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 you know, race car driving, yeah. you know, car racing or that kind of stuff, you know, would probably increase. Or, or you know, airplane aerobatics or that kind of stuff, right? You, I mean, it would be fine to do a lot of those things or explore, you know, dangerous areas and things like that. It would kind of change your relationship. So now it's very likely that robots would be like that because, you know, they'll be based on perhaps technology that is somewhat similar to uh, today's technology and you can you can always have a backup. So it's possible, uh, I don't know if you like video games, but there's a there's a game called Diablo and... Um, oh, my, my sons are huge fans of this. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and in in I, fact, they made a game that's inspired by it. <laughs> awesome. Like built a game? My, my three sons have a, a game design studio be, uh, between them. Yeah. That's awesome. They, they came out with a game. Uh, like it just came out last, with a game. Last year. No, this was last year, uh, early last year, about a year ago. That's awesome. But so in Diablo, there's a, something called hardcore mode, which if you die, there's no, you're gone. Right. That's it. And so it's possible with AI systems for them to be able to operate successfully and for us to treat them in a certain way, for, because it, they have to be integrated in human society. They have to be able to die, no copies allowed. In fact, copying is illegal. It's possible with humans as well, like cloning will be illegal even what's possible. Uh, but cloning is not copying, right? I mean, you don't reproduce right. the, well, the the mind of the person and like experience. Perfect. Right. It's just a delayed twin, so. But then it's, well, but we were talking about with computers that you will be able to copy. You, right. You will be able to perfectly save, pickle the, the, the mind state. And it's possible that that will be illegal because that goes against, um, th that will destroy the motivations of the system. Okay, so let's say you you have a domestic robot, yes. okay, uh, sometime in the future. Yes, and uh, the domestic robot, you know, comes to you kind of somewhat pre-trained. You know, it can do a bunch <laughs> of things. Yes, but it has a particular personality that makes it slightly different from the other robots because that makes them more interesting. And then because it's you know it's lived with you for five years, you've you've grown some attachment to it, and vice versa. And it's learned a lot about you, mm -hmm. or maybe it's not a household robot. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a virtual assistant that lives in your you know augmented reality glasses or whatever, yes. right? Yeah. Uh, you know the the her movie type thing, right? Um, and that system, to some extent, the the intelligence in that system is a bit like your child or maybe your PhD student, in the sense that there's a lot of you in that yeah. in that machine now, right? Yeah. And so. If it were a living thing, you would do this for free if you want, right? If it's your child, your child can, you know, then uh, live his or her own, own life. And, you know, the fact that they learn stuff from you doesn't mean that you have any ownership of it, right? Yeah. But if it's a robot uh, that you've trained, perhaps you have some uh, yeah. intellectual property claim about- oh, intellectual property? Oh, I thought you meant like uh, permanence value in the sense that part of you is in- Well, there is permanence value, right? So you would lose a lot if that robot were to be destroyed and you, you had no backup, you would lose a lot, right? You would lose a lot of investment, you know, kind of like a, a, you know, a person dying, you know, um, that, that uh, a, friend of, a friend of yours dying or, or a coworker or something like that. Um, but also uh, you have like intellectual property rights in the sense that 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 system is fine tuned to your particular existence. So that's now a very unique instantiation of that original background model, whatever it was that arrived. 
<laughs> and then there are issues of privacy, right? Because now imagine that that robot has its own kind of volition and decides to work for someone else. Yes. Or kind of you know thinks uh, life with you is sort of untenable or whatever. Right. Um, now all the all the things that that system learned from you, uh, you know, how can you like you know delete all the personal information that that yeah. system knows about you? Yeah, uh, this, this I mean that would be kind of an ethical question. Like, you know, can you erase the the mind of a of a intelligent robot uh, to protect your your privacy? Yeah, you can't do this with humans. You can ask them to shut up, but that you don't have complete power over them. Can't erase humans. Yeah, it's the problem with the relationships. You know, if that you break up, you can't you can't erase the other human with robots. I think it will have to be the same thing with robots. That that risk that. There has to be um, some risk to our interactions to truly experience them deeply, it feels like. So you have to be able to lose your robot friend and that robot friend to go tweeting about how much of an asshole you were. <laughs> but then are you allowed to you know, murder the robot to protect your private information yeah, if probably the robot not. decides to leave? I have this intuition that for robots with, with certain like it's it's almost like a regulation. If you declare your robot to be, let's call it sentient or something like that. Like mm -hmm. this this robot is designed for human interaction. Then you're not allowed to murder these robots. It's the same as murdering other humans. Well, but what about you do a backup of the robot? You do preserve on a on a on a hard drive or the equivalent in the future. That might be illegal. Just like it's like and then piracy. You, piracy, uh, piracy is illegal. No, right? but it's your own. It's your own robot, right? But um, you can't. You don't. But then, but then you can wipe out. Uh, <laughs> His brain, so the this robot doesn't know anything about you anymore. Yeah. But you still have, technically, it's still in existence because you backed it up. And then there'll be these great speeches at the Supreme Court by saying, "Oh, sure, you can erase the mind of the robot, just like you can erase the mind of a human. We both can suffer." There'll be some epic, like Obama type character with a speech that we we like the robots and the humans are the same. Uh, we can both suffer. We can both hope. We can both. All of those, all those kinds of things, raise families, all that kind of stuff. It's it's uh, interesting for these, just like you said, emotion seems to be a fascinatingly powerful aspect of human human interaction, human robot interaction, and if they're able to exhibit emotions, at the end of the day, that's probably going to have us deeply consider human rights, like what we value in humans, what we value in other animals. That's why robots and AI is great. It makes us ask uh, really as, good as questions. The hard questions, yeah.